What's up, Guardians? K Glenn here with another useful uh, Destiny help tip video for you. This one is pretty much um, just in regards to the Taken King that's coming out. As we all know, there's a ton of new gear coming out, a ton of new weapons coming out. If you haven't seen the live stream, I'll go ahead and put a link to that on this video or under this video in the description so you guys can check out the Bungie live stream uh, that they did a couple days ago. This video is in reference to how to get the new gear as fast as possible how to level it up as fast as possible so this is going to go by kind of quick so feel free to replay it if you need to um yeah the only reason i'm going so fast is because i got some friends here want to do a raid and i'm going to explain why in a minute so as you guys know come taken king we are losing vanguard and crucible marks they are turning into legendary marks the legendary marks will be used for buying ghost that will have light values on them it'll be used for buying new weapons and armor that will also have light values on them and all that's going to help you reach the in uh the end light level or a higher light level for the taken king um so what i am doing i'm getting ready to do a raid here and it's my hope that for every single one of these slots that you see it's nine 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 that's four so it's 72 total not counting uh your class item slot because come taking king even your class items will have light levels so what i plan on doing is getting exotics or legendaries to place in these slots so that as soon after i spend my what are soon to be legendary marks i can go ahead and break those down and get additional uh legendary marks and then go out into the field and kill stuff so i can further build that that bank of legendary marks to go in and buy new stuff so we know how we're going to get it the next thing we need to address is how are we going to level it up and that plan is going to work for every single uh, player on destiny who has doubles and uh triples of the same class of characters so me personally i have three titans i just didn't like the way the warlocks and the hunters felt so i made three titans i've got i know people who have two warlocks and a hunter two warlocks and a titan three hunters two hunters and whatever it's just their own personal preference so now that we know how we're going to get it now we're going to talk about how we're going to level it up right so if you're doing what i'm doing every day for the next 20 days i'm going to do a public event and each one of those public events is going to give me a uh a public event package and these packages they give you 5,000 exp um for experience so any piece of armor or weapon that you have equipped that's not fully leveled up every time you open one of those packages you're going to get experience um towards that item now in the event that a hundred thousand again five thousand times twenty a hundred thousand exp doesn't do the trick what i'm also going to plan on doing is i've got 185 of these focus lights ready to go okay now i imagine that's going to move up any armor that i'm trying to level up pretty quick compound that with telemetries that i've got here and that i've been saving for a long time and every time Zer comes, if the uh, gunsmith doesn't sell them, I buy them from Zer and vice versa. That's going to level those weapons up pretty darn quickly. Now, like I said, I've got three Titans. So any piece of armor that I can get for one transcends across all of them. So imagine this, if you will, as being 200 legendary marks times three characters, right? So that's 600 legendary marks. So I'm going to be able to move through this pretty fast. And that's my goal because I want to help out as many people as I can when Take a King comes out. And I don't want to have to run into any missions that, oh man, this is giving me a hard time. I'm not a high enough level to do it. You guys remember the days, especially all the day one players, when, you know, Volta Glass was out and Atheon was kicking our butts. And when Crota first came out, because we weren't at that high enough level, how we were getting our butts kicked by him. So I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, I'm definitely going to do that and my bounties what did i want to say about these i think these i'm just working on these so i can actually continue to gain uh with new monarchy i'm trying to get that last shader i've got almathelia i've got nefertiti i'm trying to work on getting the last one as you can see i really don't do too much prison elders i did 35 on skolas and it just seems like a lot of work for a little reward so i'm not really concerned with that anymore um but I think I like the future war cult class better than the new monarchy one simply because new monarchy tends to be strength and intellect. And I like more of an intellect discipline build for supers and grenades. Dead orbit skin, like no love. It's sad, I know. But um, yeah, so after I get that new ship and shader, I'll probably move back over to future war cult. Uh, in case new monarchy doesn't go back to letting you choose which kind of army you want, either strength, intellect, discipline, or 
intellect and discipline. Right now, they're just kind of at strength and intellect. So that's kind of what I'm staring away from, even though I did buy the armor because I do like the color scheme. But yeah, that's the video. If there's any other questions, guys, feel free to drop me a line in the comment section below. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Thanks, Guardians.